And welcome back to Let's Play Spirit Fair. So it turns out, uh, we did in fact get a noble from Elena. Whoops, guess I completely forgot about that. Or I guess I just didn't notice. Anyway, speaking of Elena, she still won't talk to me because I tried to hug her and I can't dash yet. We should probably go get that upgrade soon. Also, hey Francis, what are you doing here? Yeah, I'm just gonna sell a couple of things and then we're gonna get going again. So yeah, I do have enough money to buy that Obel, I believe. Wait. No, yeah, I'm pretty sure we have enough money to go buy that Obel. Let me go grab that real quick. Because I kind of want to learn how to dash. Also, there's not very much else in this area that we can explore. I guess we could head over to the Shadow Forest. But you know what? I think we'll explore that later. I want to learn how to dash before I do anything else. Maybe then Elena will finally start talking to me. Oh yeah, we also still need to build Buck that house. I swear to God we'll do it at some point. In fact, you know what? Do I have enough wood to do it now? How much wood do I need? Uh, we need two clear glass and 12 pine planks. Oh, you know what? I think I might have enough pine for this. One minute. Oh yeah, we have more than enough pine for this. So after this, all we need to do is make some clear glass, or clear glass planks, clear glass panels, and then we should be good. Oh my god, I'm really bad at this minigame. It's been a while. Eh, eh, not bad. I think we have enough now, actually. We'll finish this up, though. Just in case I need pine for something else. Also, oh my god, we have so much sawdust on us. I don't actually know what that's used for, to be honest. I played through this game before, and I still have no idea why you need so much sawdust. I think we could probably sell it if we really wanted to. Also, yeah, I think we're at the bus stop. One minute. Alright, so where did they sell that opal again? I believe it was... Over here? It's one of the stores around here. That's assuming I didn't already buy it, which I'm pretty sure I didn't. Also, yes, I will feed Buck in a second. Uh, was it... No, it's not a Flotsam Shores. Hmm... Actually, I think it's in Edgeboro. Oh, I can't remember anymore. Is it Edgeboro Lane or Sunspring Square? I believe it's Edgeboro. I mean, we can just take a quick stop at both of them. It's not going to take that long. They're pretty close together. Alright, so while we're doing this, what do I need to make some clear glass? I need limestone and silica powder. One moment. Ooh, yeah, that's right. We're kind of running low on quartz, aren't we? We should still be fine, though. I don't need that much. There we go. And then I need limestone. Okay, I have plenty of limestone. That's not going to be a problem. We have not used limestone for a lot of things in this game. Some materials just aren't that helpful. I guess we do need a lot of glass, so now lime is starting to be helpful. Anyways, that's more than enough. Let's just uh, make that glass real quick. Plus, I think we also needed this for Mickey and Bruce's house. I mean, it's always good to have glass around. Come on, flat. Nope. Broke my hammer. Just flatten for me. Oh, I think we're here. Huh. Honestly, kind of surprised we made here before a nightfall. Well, before, like, late nightfall. One minute. Before we go down, let me just finish this up. Might as well while I'm here. Also, yeah, 
yeah, apparently you do not need a guest house to recruit uh, passengers. I honestly didn't know that my first playthrough. I actually built a second guest house after Stanley took over the first guest house. Because I thought you needed one, but no. They're just uh, perfectly willing to sleep out on the deck. Then again, by that point of the game, I didn't really have that... Well, no, I guess we recruited him before we got, like, Bruce and Mickey. I think Gustav... No, Gustav we recruited before we got Stanley. Well, either way, we don't actually need a guest house. Still won't talk to me? Talk to me or I'm gonna hug you. She is still unhappy about the fact that I tried to hug her. Alright, fine. Let me go get that second oval real quick. I'm pretty sure this is the right area. Also, wait, I have money, right? Oh, wait, no, yeah, we have plenty of money. I just sold a bunch of stuff to Francis. That's right, this is the right area. Hey, Randy, just give me that. That's only 2,000 gold, too. Uh, do I need cows at this point? Not really, we already have a cow. All right. Well, I have two ovals now. Let's uh, head back to that one shrine. Although it is the middle of the night, we should probably get to bed before we get moving. And by we should, I mean we have to. Can't move at night. Oh, you know what we can do, though? I think I have the materials now. Probably should have built this before night fell, but whatever. So Buck has a house now. Also while we're here. Do I have enough materials to upgrade? Ooh, I do. Boop. He's gonna wake up to a very surprising sight. Anyways, I'm gonna take a quick look at Buck's house. Oh, he made it inside. Hey, Buck, your house is very messy. Honestly, kind of reminds me a bit of my house, or my room, because, yeah, I'm not a very organized person. Well, I don't have a piece of armor or pizza in my drawers, but, yeah, my room is kind of a mess. That's fine. Anyways, let's get to bed. I want it to be morning. She's fine. Oh, at some point I should also see if I can get some upgrades for Buck's house. We don't really need to, it just kind of makes it look nicer. But yeah, we're pretty much almost done upgrading the boat. The only thing left to really build is a house for... One second. It's a house for Elena, but one second, Gustav needs me. Here, let me get the boat moving and then we'll go see him. Where is he? There you are. Er, there you are. Uh -huh. um. Well, it's, uh... Okay, you built a desk, a fireplace, and a giant clock. Well, I guess it's art. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. We finished his art exhibition, so... Uh -huh. It's time for him to go. We'll go drop him off later. I do want to make a quick side trip to get Dash before we uh, let him off. Gustav, we kind of figured when he was going to leave. After all, his whole thing was trying to finish his art exhibit. And hey, it's done now. And it looks pretty good. Also, we should probably feed him before we let him go. Uh, do I have any exotic stuff? 
Here, have some fried mushrooms. Okay, never mind. I forgot you don't eat fried stuff. Uh, eat some... Do I have anything that's, like, exotic? Did I seriously go through all my fish curry? I think I went through all my fish curry. Uh, have a mushroom salad, I guess. Alright. But yeah, like I said, we're not going to go to the Everdor quite yet. There's one quick stop I want to make. Every time we come here, it looks so weird when he lands in the fog. Also, has Elena moved ever since she arrived here? I think she's kind of stuck on that one spot. Oh, wait. One second. Oh, I think Buck wants to say thank you for finally giving him a house. Nope, wait, nope. That's still just Gustav. What? I mean... Okay, I'm not sure if this was supposed to trigger until after. I think this was supposed to trigger before we had to let him go at the Everdor. Uh -huh. But yeah, Gustav is an art curator. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wait, no, Gustav, you're you're supposed to be leaving soon. Yeah, I don't think that- I think that event was supposed to trigger a lot earlier. <laughs> Buck, are you okay? Okay, that honestly does sound pretty accurate to a normal D&D party. Yeah, this is about right. So yeah, we uh, we gotta get Buck's D&D &D group back together. That being said, he's not unhappy now that he has a house. He is kind of hungry though. Here, have some, have some creme brulee. Oh wait, did I feed this to you before? Yeah, I already fed this to you before. Whoops. Have some fisherman's pie, I guess. Oh right, he likes old-fashioned stuff. I completely forgot about that. I love Buck, but yeah, we gotta get his D and D group back together. Anyways, while we're here, kind of wish there was a shortcut to the top, but no, we're going to need to make the big climb again. Up we go. Alright, so let me see, what was the fastest way up there? Probably a lot of bouncing. Actually, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of bouncing to get up there. Also, you still haven't turned around, huh? Seriously, just turn your head a bit to the right or to the left. It's not that hard. Ah, oh, didn't quite make it. All right, let me see if I can get the timing right. I basically want to go into that at the peak of my jump. So right now. There we go. I went too high and I don't know where I'm going to land. Oh, wait, no, that worked out. Uh, do I need to bounce up? No, I'm pretty sure I can just float up there. Yep, there we go. Almost there. Oh wait, I need wind. Give me some wind. Huh. 
There we go. All right, let me drop these off. Time to get the final movement upgrade. Got it. Now I can dash. But yeah, dashing is a pretty fun way to move around. Unfortunately, it does have a bit of a cooldown timer, but it's literally just a forward dash. Just hit the left trigger to do it. And you can do it in midair. It's a very easy way to get around places very quickly. Unfortunately, you can only dash forward and back. You can't dash up. At least I'm pretty sure you can't dash up. Nope, you cannot dash up. There is something up there, but I screwed up the jump and I don't want to go back. So maybe we'll take a look at that later. For now, let's, uh... Let's head back to the boat. I think it's time to finally get to the Everdor. Even if Gustav is still kind of angry about being called an art curator... I almost called him an art curator. An art collector. We... Mm, We'll talk to Elena later. We'll deal with her mission once we're done with Gustav's. Speaking of Gustav, where is he? Oh, you know, oh, you know what I shouldn't, I didn't do. I didn't feed him his favorite thing before he left, and I don't want to, basically, was it ferment a giant bunch of fish right now? So you know what? Oh, um, Buck? Um... I remember none of this, so I'm just gonna take your word that this is a good thing. Also, Buck, can you please move? I wanna... I can't see Gustav because Buck is basically planting himself in front of the door. Alright, fine. We'll see Gustav later. Buck doesn't want Gustav to go. Even though I'm like 90% sure that Buck is the one who called him an art collector. Unless it was Elena. Honestly, that does kind of seem like something she would do. Also, Buck, are you still there? Nope, Buck moved. Oh, I didn't mean to sit in his chair. One second. Also, what does a bird need with a chair? He doesn't have knees. Uh -huh. Anyways, I don't think I can actually feed him anymore. No. Oh well. I'm gonna miss Gustav. He was a fun art man. Well, fun art bird. That being said, out of all of our guests, I think he's the one who... I think he is ready to move on. He got basically what he wanted out of this. Oh. You know what the Red Seas mean. We're almost there. Yep, let's get going. It's also so weird to see him drop down ledges like that. Also, wow, we... Where is everyone? Oh, here they come. Alright, off we go. Uh-huh. 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 
Okay. Mach mal. Mach mal. All right. Goodbye, you strange art hmm. curator. Honestly, out of all of our guests, yeah, I think Gustav's... It's the least sad in the fact that he's obviously ready to go. And he went away happy. He got his life's work done. Okay, I don't see that constellation at all. I'm not good at constellations, but I don't see how that looks like a bird. Oh. Well, we're back here. As usual, let's uh, take a look around and see what we can find. Oh, crap. Also, I don't want to accidentally dash off the ledge. I have done that before. Uh, what do we have here? Huh. That forest kind of looks familiar. I never really realized that before. That's like the forest we've been looking through like in the last foggy area. But that hat looks very familiar. I think it's about time we learn the truth about everything.
But yep, the very final guest of the game is Stella herself. She's been dead the entire time. Which, well, it's pretty easy to see that coming, considering that literally every single guest we've had so far has in some way been connected to Stella. But yeah, Stella's been dead the entire time, and the final mission of the Spirit Fair is to go through the door herself. That being said, we're not going through quite yet. We still have other passengers we need to take care of. But yeah, in terms of like Stella's backstory, you get bits and snippets of it throughout the game. But basically, it's, from what I understand, she was basically a hospice nur uh, nurse. Someone who takes care of people at the end of their lives. That's why all the people we've been connected to have been people who have died that she's known. So most of them have been like her patients. People that she knew at, and helped pass away. That's also the reason that Atul kind of just disappeared. Stella doesn't actually know how he died. He just kind of disappeared one day from her life. But yeah, it does make the connection between a lot of the passengers a lot more clear now. But like I said, it's not quite Stella's time to go. She still has passengers she needs to help through before we can leave. And I think we'll do that next time by starting with Elena here. So, till then. <laughs>